Okay, I'm gonna do a walk around uh, with the car to point out any imperfections so that everything's transparent for buyers. Uh, starting at the front, uh, so I purchased the car um, in June of 2022 and um, spent the day at the Ferrari dealership, uh, had it up in the hoist, went through everything, and the car is in very good shape. When I brought it back to Vancouver, I um, replaced the paint protection film that was on the front of the car. So the front bumper was repainted uh, simply because there was um, some scrapes at the, in the bottom. So you can see now that the front of the car is very, very clean. Um, the hood and fenders were not repainted. Those are original. So it was just the front bumper. Uh, and the paint protection film covers the entire front bumper and extends to um, the uh, front fenders to about this area here. It's pretty invisible. Um, and so the paint protection film is basically the front fenders and the front half of the hood. So you can see that the uh, headlight buckets are very clean. There's no fogging uh, or um, anything that's unclear here. Um, the headlight alignment was redone when I purchased the car. So you can see here that everything at the front is uh, very basically clean and new. There's no scuff marks or skid marks. These skid blocks were installed by Steve Harris Imports, which was the importing dealer in Salt Lake City, Utah, when the car was uh, new and brought in from, um, from Ferrari in Italy. And so there's no imperfections in the front of the car. It's all very, very clean, the grill work, etc., all the way around, okay? Um, paint on the hoods, also very good. There's one uh, paint chip there um, and the paint isn't perforated, but there is a slight mark there. Um, and other than that, that's the only imperfection on the hood. I had all four alloy wheels uh, refinished, so there is no scuff marks whatsoever. They are like new. And um, all the calipers, everything's very, very clean. And I'll mark the tread depth of the tires um, in, the, in the notes uh, with the car. Uh, but the tires are in really good shape. There's lots of tread depth left in them, and I'll show the depth gauge on those. Um, it's got the Scuderia Ferrari Shields, as you know, is a coveted option on these cars. Um, the original paint protection film that was behind the front wheels is still there, and everything in the rocker panel is very, very clean. No chip marks, no paint marks. Um, it's very, very clean. Okay. Um, and then you've got the Pinaferina badge at the back. Uh, there's a little bit of dark wear there. This is paint protection film again, uh, but everything's very, very clean and there's no chip marks uh, and all the paint works very, very good. Um, the interior of the car is in excellent condition. I had all of the sticky buttons addressed uh, in the interior of the car with the exception of the uh, door opening mechanisms on both the driver and passenger side. So th these have not been addressed for sticky buttons. You can see there's a bit of wear on the uh, lock mechanism there, but all the mechanisms and everything works well. We adjusted the cables uh, when I bought the car for the door opening, because those can be an issue for some buyers. Uh, but if you look at inside, all of the air vents have been done. All of the buttons for the support suspension, heated mirrors, that housing, all the buttons controlling the uh, climate control and the windows there's no sticky buttons issues at all. They're fully operational. They all uh, work and you can see in the other photos that they are the um, factory green um, light up at nighttime. The uh, mirror switch operation and the parking lights and the hazard lights, those have all been refinished as well as the cigarette um, holder. Okay. And then of course you've got the beautiful shifter. All the carpet work and interior is in excellent condition. There's no issues there with wear. These are aftermarket uh, floor mats, but I have the original Ferrari mats with them. I just don't want them to wear, so I don't uh, have them in. Um, all the pedals are in great shape and all the leather work. Uh, speaking of leather work, um, some on YouTube will note that uh, some models can have issues with pulling uh, the leather or shrinking over time, this dash is in incredibly good shape. There's no issues around the air vents at all, um, and everything 
is in proper working order and I'll show a shot through the windshield as well. Uh, there's no bubbling or warping uh, of the airbag area um, and the uh, original Ferrari radio is fully operational and it has a single CD uh, changer in it. Um, quality of the leather is very high. The uh, Daytona power seats, there's no tears in any of the bolstering. There's no bad wrinkling. It's been taken very good care of. Um, one other imperfection in the interior is there's a paint chip here behind the brake lever. Um, that was there when I bought the car. I don't know what's origin. Uh, it's cosmetic only, everything else is fine, but I want that to be noted. And then you've got the uh, factory installed subwoofer. That was a factory option, came with the car. Um, also nice details, this has the beige leather roll hoops, which was an option and the black leather stitching was also a factory option. You'll see that on the factory window sticker uh, that you have in the photos of the car. Um, so yeah, the seats are in great shot. I've done lots of close-up shots. There's a bit of wear on the um, weather stripping or I don't know what you call this stuff, but the, the trim. Uh, I think that's just from people's uh, feet getting in and out over time. But everything else, the rocker panel is all clean. There's the VIN number. And opening at the back, all the upholstery is in great shape. No issues, everything's very clean. You got the uh, rear windscreen is there. And that's removable, you can take that out if you want. Okay, so everything in the interior car is in really good shape. Uh, and then you've got the data manufacturer here as well. Uh, June 2003, I can't quite get my camera in there, but I do have a shot of that in the photos. Okay. Uh, in terms of paint imperfections, there's a scratch here on the tonneau cover. Uh, again, that was there when I bought the car. I don't know its origin. Uh, I've chosen to not address it. Uh, I think that whoever buys a car uh, can decide if they want that done at the factory or, or addressed, but it's again just cosmetic, doesn't affect operation. Um, and we can go to the back of the car, come with the hood. Right rear wheel, again, all the wheels were refinished. The quality of the paint, there's no chip marks anywhere in the wheel wells. And the paint works in really, really good shape. There's no swirls in the paint. It's all very clean, no issues there. Okay, coming to the back of the car. Uh, the previous owner had reported a claim in Ontario with a um, rear end collision at low speed. Uh, and so they replaced the rear bumper assembly. And so this rear bumper paint is not original. That was done, uh, I think it was 2021. I'll ch check the notes, but I've put all of that in with the uh, maintenance history. Um, and so there was no issues with the chassis. Um, the collision was essentially just a cosmetic where they put a new rear bumper in. Um, it's the original diffuser. The diffuser was not affected. The quality diffuser, it's really clean. There's no chip marks. And uh, when, when I bought the car, we had the car on the hoist, we took the actual floor off the car, looked at all the uh, undercarriage. And I've got a video showing that there's no movement in any of the ball joints with the suspension. It rides really, really clean. There's no knocks, no, um, nothing out of order with the suspension. Okay, so the diffuser is in really good shape. Very, very clean. Uh, looking at the engine compartment, everything here is exactly as you'd expect. You have the 2B exhaust that was factory installed by Steel Harris Imports when the car was imported. Beautiful engine out, and I've given you a drive-by um, video so you can hear. Um, everything in the engine bay is really clean. There's no issues, there's no leaks. Everything's in great shape here. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to note there, but you can see how clean the chassis is and everything's in really good shape there. Okay. Um, so yeah, no issues with the paintwork. In the back here, again, the wheels refinished. Everything's in good shape. Everything's very, very clean around the wheel wells. And then we have the, as I said, went through the interior of the car. Um, you've got the badge there for the F1 World Championships they had. This is a 2003 car, so you've got 99 through 2002 there. Um, and again, everything's very clean in the leather work.
Again, the sticky button, uh, this door handle has not been addressed. So that and the driver's side are the only sticky buttons that were not addressed. And uh, this side's actually not that bad, but you can choose to have those done if you want. Uh, everything in the paintwork here is good. Again, Scuderia shields, wheels very clean. And again, the no scuff marks in the front. Everything is in great shape there. You notice, uh, in terms of options, the car has the Scuderia shields, it has the rear challenge grille, uh, it has the red brake calipers, uh, has the uh, subwoofer, and has the Daytona seats, power seats, with the black and tan, it's a beautiful look, and the black stitching throughout. So I think the only option the car didn't have that it could have had was a six um, CD changer, it has a single in the uh, actual radio but not a six changer other than that it was pretty much had every option you could get